Hi guys, it's Bible Girl, and it's Testimony Tuesday. This coming week <laughs> is going to have my favorite holiday of them all. Do with it what you will. Some people diss you about it, but I love Halloween. I've loved it since I was a very small child. And admittedly, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I was the kind of kid that got bullied very regularly, and the idea that one night a year I could dress up and be someone different live in my imagination, have this really cool world, and get candy plus my birthday being five days later. <laughs> Just this amazing concept to me. So I've always loved Halloween. That's a very special place in my heart. But Halloween also has another day on top of it. It's also known as Reformation Day. The years of my church sometimes made a joke going, Happy Reformation Day! Enjoy the candy! Or something like that. But, uh, in honor of Reformation Day, or because of it, I thought, why don't I give a very abridged version of the church? So, the church begins as thus. There is originally the Jewish people, and at the point of Christ's appearance into the world, a small fledgling group <laughs> of Jewish people starts worshiping this Jesus fellow <laughs> and they are initially a Jewish sect however things get really big like go check out Acts <laughs> and a lot of Gentiles started joining and we have basically our first two denominations going on there the people that are very strict and wanting to follow all the Jewish customs and laws and people that believe that you don't have to do all that anymore because Christ is opening up for everyone for the most part, it kind of sticks with the second one, and it has a lot to do with the fact that not as many Jewish people converted as all these new people from missionary work. So we have that group. And in the course of this, we have kind of two splits. There's this group going on, and then uh, the Orthodox splits. And so in Greek culture, we have the Greek Orthodox, church which kind of does its own thing and we have Coptic the Egyptian Orthodox Church and a couple other little things similar in nature to that and all kind of going on the same flow people are kind of using the Roman version of leadership model even some Roman terms because hey if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> this eventually starts flowing into what will be the Catholic Church and it's working pretty well for a while. Uh, Christians are persecuted pretty badly, though. Murdered, despised, used as scapegoats. Uh, Nero, particularly, is a prime example of how that happened. But at one point in time, Constantine, the emperor of Rome, converts to Christianity. And now, all of a sudden, Christianity is the formative religion. It is the main guide. It's not only legal, but it starts becoming the only religion acceptable in society. And through him we get a couple councils going down where we hammer out some details. Uh, definitely trying to pull out some radical views such as Gnosticism, just the idea that the body is evil and sinful and that Jesus wasn't even human <laughs> and that oh there's so many weird things to Gnosticism that uh, you either completely deny yourself of physical gratification because the body is bad or you completely go into it and do whatever you want because the body is pointless so uh, we got the council it's making these various things we have the Catholic Church basically getting all that going down we have the Catholic Church and things seem to be going all right, and then there are some major issues that start coming with the Catholic Church. Um, a big problem is known as indulgences. Now today, indulgences are something different. I actually didn't know they still had indulgences until I had a roommate that was Catholic, who I love very much. <laughs> hey, Emily! <laughs> and uh, just talking about it, but indulgences at the time period were basically you could buy your way into heaven if you were rich enough, which is ridiculous. and counter to the Bible. And there are a lot of other things that different Protestants, I mean, not, well they weren't Protestants yet, but different people disagreed with. Uh, 
lots of things. People wanted to read the Bible in their own language. They wanted to be married if they were in the clergy. They wanted lots of things. And so church splits and this is a big schism in Western Christianity and we get the Protestants this uh, is said to have started on October 31st Reformation Day when Martin Luther nailed his issues with the Catholic Church on the cathedral door and Martin Luther wasn't the only one there were lots of other things going on there was John Calvin and all these other people and now I'm gonna go a bit more and all of a sudden there's so many splinter groups and so many things and eventually we get to all these denominations uh, one particularly interesting one is the Church of England uh, Church of England broke off because you know indeed just wanted to get divorced basically and wanted control when the Pope had control and that splintered off into so many things, Anglicans and this and that. And, you know, out of that tradition, eventually we get to Baptist, which is my tradition that I grew up in. And it's just interesting to see that it's such a convoluted mess of it. And not everyone can be right, and not everyone can be wrong, but for the most part, you know, we have core beliefs that we follow and stay together. and. I would never say that a Catholic isn't a Christian, or that a Methodist isn't a Christian, or an Anglican isn't a Christian, or any of that growing up as a Baptist. I think we're one big family with a lot of issues, <laughs> but we should love each other and respect each other. And yes, I do love the fact that there was the split from papal authority and different issues that I disagree with in the Catholic Church. but. I love my Catholic brothers and sisters and I look forward to the day when they would welcome us to join them in the Lord's table. It's a whole other discussion, <laughs> the communion, but uh, that's a very, very, very abridged version of Christianity. <laughs> okay guys, I love you all, God bless, and I'll see you soon for some more on our Bye. <laughs>